I just pulled up to my climbing gym and I'm really excited because I, it's a Saturday at 10.30 and I thought it would be packed, but it is also like 60 degrees outside. Like I don't have a coat on, I'm wearing my Birkenstocks. <laughs> it's gonna drop to the 30s um, in a few hours, so I'm gonna enjoy this. Um, and I think everyone else is too, but I really wanna climb, so I'm gonna go do that. I climbed for about an hour and a half and I'm tired. <laughs> um, I didn't reach the top of anything today. I was, I don't know, I was just not having a good day. Um, <laughs> someone told me I was having a high gravity. Um, somebody told me I was having a high gravity day because I kept falling. <laughs> I was like, yeah, that's pretty accurate. But the wind is, the wind is really crazy. So it's like 60 degrees and it's going to go down to like the twenties tonight. So it's high winds. Um, but the power went out for a little bit, <laughs> which is fine because I mean, none of it is reliant on power. Everything is manual. Um, so like that was fine, but we were all just kind of like dark. <laughs> and it was a little off-putting when you're on the wall and the power goes out. <laughs> um, yeah, it's good. I talked to, um, gosh, my phone keeps falling. Um, I talked to one of the people about my harness because I'm buying a harness through them and it should be here next week. Very excited about it. It's mint green. I'm very pumped about it. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm gonna go, uh, my mom is watching Eliza right now, so I'm gonna go get us some lavender lattes. It's her favorite too. Um, and try not to blow away in this wind. It is. I don't like it. I'm gonna go home and charge everything. <laughs> um, it's very windy. <laughs> okay, so coffee. And then I'm going to make um, stuffed enchilada peppers for lunch when I get home. just about 10 p.m. here and it has been a very challenging day. Um, Eliza has been very, oh, she's definitely pushing her limits and it's, it's been a rough day. So um, I'm really just trying to decompress before I go to bed and I'm doing that by knitting on my second hat. Oh, that's a really good representation of the color, actually. So this is Pearl Soho um, Worsted Twist. I don't remember the colorway, but it's like the burnt orange color. It's really beautiful. It's almost like an orangey red brown color. Um, I decided to knit all of my nieces and nephews hats for Christmas. Um, some of them won't be getting them by Christmas, and that's okay, but I'm knitting them all hats for this winter season. And um, I've got quite a few of them. I have four nieces, three nephews, and a baby niece or nephew on the way. We will be here in a few weeks, which is really exciting. So I've got a lot of them, and as you saw yesterday, I finished hat number one. So I'm doing it by family because it's just the easiest way to do it. So um, this family lives in Tennessee and this is for my oldest niece and then 
her younger sister. And then the baby is coming in January, is getting this brown, brown, <laughs> this gray color, and this is all Pearl Soho Worsted Twist, I think. Um, I don't remember this colorway, but everyone thinks this is orange. It's actually red. It's uh, Poppy Red from Pearl Soho. So it's like the most perfect red out there. I'm actually going to knit myself a hat out of this color. And the pattern I'm using, at least for these three, I don't know if I'm gonna do it for the others, um, is the classic ribbed hat, also by Pearl Soho. It's a free pattern. And I just like it, be I'm probably gonna do it for every hat. Just because kids' heads are so weird, <laughs> right? Like this, I put this on my head and it fits me like a beanie um, instead of like a, I don't know how to put it. It fits me like a skull, is it a skull cap? Is that what it's called? Um, and less like a beanie that's like got some hang to it. So I think this will be perfect for a five-year-old. <laughs> um, and then they can always double this up, but they're in Tennessee, so um, they, I don't think they're gonna need some extra ear warmth, um, but it'll be cute on chilly days. Um, yeah, so hat one is done. Hat two is coming along. I'm hoping to get another inch or two knit before I go to bed. I think it's totally possible. And then I'm gonna line it up. It's easier to do it this way. Um, so we're getting there. And like the decreases start down here. So I'm hoping for tomorrow, if I can get to the decreases and then do the decreases on Monday and then start baby hat Tuesday. And I can probably knit that, finish it by Wednesday and then knit some other hats. Um, I was planning to give a hat to someone on Thursday, but I don't think I'm gonna get it done on time, which is fine. <laughs> um, that can wait. And then um, I need to knit two hats for my two nephews I will see on Christmas Eve. Those are my sister's kids. And um, I've been wanting to knit them hats forever. And I feel bad because I knit my oldest nephew hat. Um, I knit him hats and a sweater when he was a baby, but then um, Sam, my the next um, nephew, hit um, <laughs> him and Eliza are two days apart, and I was not knitting like at all when I was pregnant with Eliza. Um, because I knit everything for Avery before I got pregnant with Eliza because he was born January of that year and then Sam and Eliza were born in June. Um, it's actually funny, me and my sister were in the hospital at the same time together, <laughs> which is not supposed to happen because Eliza came early. Anyway, it's just, it's funny to think about sometimes. And <laughs> it's just such a weird okay. Um Yeah, so, I'm knitting those. I'm knitting the kid size for these two. And I think it's perfect because they don't have obnoxiously large heads. Um, and also it's rib, so it stretches really well. Like it fits my adult size head. I have like a medium sized head. So I think this is perfect for them. And then I'm going to knit the adult smalls for Avery and Sam because they've got big heads. <laughs> yeah, big old heads. Um, and I'm also knitting this pattern calls for DK and I'm knitting it with worsted. Um, so it's also, this is probably closer to the adult small. Um, I didn't knit it as long as it calls for though. So I, don't, I just, I'm really, I have, I love knitting hats. It's why I got into knitting, I really wanted to just knit hats all the time. And then I fell in love with sweaters, but I'm kind of coming back into, I want to make a bunch of hats that I can wear. So I, I am knitting these first and then I'm gonna, and then I'm gonna knit some for myself and Doug and Eliza. 
So that's really it. Um, tomorrow is going to be pretty much the same, uh, minus the gym. It's a Sunday tomorrow, so just getting ready for work and getting orders packed and ready to ship for Monday. Yeah. So thank you for being here, and I will see you tomorrow.